Okay, Toby joins us now. He is the assistant editor, New Telegraph. Toby, good morning. Welcome to the program. Great to be here. Great uh, enlightenment and uh, interesting knowledge about uh, American football. And the good thing they've done is they've taken the game to the grassroots, going to the school, and also trying to to build the team from from nowhere. Uh, I know of the Lagos Marine team. They have a very great team in Zaria, and now the Ibom. Uh, team Tigers, also, yeah. Tigers also joining. And we're going to the African Championship next year in Morocco and they are striving to make sure. And also a lot of parents are getting involved to make sure that these young kids embrace this sport. And the ultimate is going to America also to further your studies and also play American football. It's a good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Super Eagles, I mean, just one reaction from you. Watch the game. You were talking about this uh, a creative midfield or rather someone can drag everybody together and just distribute the ball. We still don't have that? No, no, no. For the super, I was wondering why you say that. For the super eagles, for the first time we yeah. saw, we've seen a team in total. Like I said last week here, mm -hmm. uh, before the match, previewing the match, I said we are going to win because we have a new coach, we have new formation, new tactics, and we have new spirit in the team. You see, for the first time, we see players who are playing for one another. You see Victor Moses coming back just like he does at Chelsea, coming back to support the defense, getting this. You saw the versatility of a table, organic a table in the midfield, supporting and also, it's also Mikhail. We saw even for an improved headers in the Chejile. Even the team is not getting uh, to play at the optimum. But what we need, we are getting the results and we are getting a team cohesion gradually. In the past, we've never seen Super Eagles put three or four passes together. But now we see the excitement in the team. So it's a team building process and the NFF should be commended for getting their hearts right this time around. The, the coaching crew should be commended for believing in Yorkshire starting in will be and, uh, and Moses up front and also allowing some other players to come in. And also the media also supporting uh, the team and seeing this vision. And together as a team, we will get to the, the, the World Cup if we don't derail this great movement, this trend that is moving. Okay, we just can't wait to get to the World Cup because that's the, that's the target right now. Now let's talk about the under-20 Women's World Cup in Papua New Guinea as some games were played yesterday and for Ghana, they head on but somehow towards the later part they actually just lost it considered a late goal in her and that was how that one ended 1-0 one against uh, New Zealand. I just see the results coming from the FIFA on the 20 Women's World Cup, France and USA, that one ended goalless. USA were first to settle for a draw. I mean, the French side well organized. And of course, the other one, uh, Group D, you have Germany and Venezuela, Mexico and Korea Republic. For Venezuela, they're making a debut, and Mariana Speckmeyer, I'm thinking what she will be thinking right now after being able to score against the Germans. I mean, just one goal, but then that was enough. The New Zealand is a team I really want to look at. They have a 16 year old goalkeeper. Nandia Ola, and she was able to actually withstand the firepower coming from the Ghanaians, and that was how the Ghanaians were lost to one girl from the substitute Tyler Christensen to claim of the spot in Group C. But then New Zealand coming into this game and winning it. Did you see that coming? Yeah, the good thing about uh, on the 20 Female World Cup is. Uh, New teams are coming, and also young players have been discovered. It's a, it's a platform to develop young players for the senior national team. But it's so sad that we, after how many years we put into this game, we are getting such embarrassing food results. 6-0 against the Japanese team. Fine, give it to Japan. They are, uh, they've produced world champions. They've done well at the Olympics. They've done well at the youth level. But not at the stage we find ourselves. Now, you saw what Ghana did against New Zealand. They were able to hold on, but even though they considered it, it was not embarrassing. You saw fluidity. You saw Teamwork. You saw the tenacity for the players wanting to play for Nigeria, but it's so embarrassing that at this level of our female football, for several years we've dominated Africa, for several years we've built on that level. In 2014, we were second in the world, but in 2016, two years later, we are losing 6 0 to a Japanese side. It's so embarrassing. That shows what we have. We'll be talking, you and I have been lamenting about the league we have here. That is the product of not having a functional league. But to God be the glory, just yesterday, the NFF got it right, reconstituted the board of the, of the Nigerian f uh, women football team, putting the round. Are peg in the run or people who have passion for the game and people who understand the need for us to have a functional league. It is when we have a functional league, we get the pool of players. Also, we can play friendly matches. Uh, we saw the under 17 team went to the and embarrassed us. 
in this level in 2016 when female football started more than a few decades ago more than two decades ago and we are not getting such embarrassment you know it is a developmental game but it is so we are backward going back to the era days when we go we call it six zero six uh, five zero eight zero but it's so pathetic that we've started that way but the good news that we're back going back to the platform the drum board we always go back to the drum board and the drum board is <laughs> is all, Excuse me, it's almost broken. But now it's a good thing that we are there. And uh, let's see how the devil said he's going to bounce back yeah. in the next match. Let's see how he pans out. Okay, now we'll take a quote coming from Peter Daredevil now where he says uh, we're down but not out. So it simply means they will be ready for the game against Canada. It's time for them to actually end this competition on a very high. Okay, we're down but not out. And this is the time for us to fight to the end of the competition. It will be foolhardy for us to start feeling sorry for ourselves because it will affect our focus for the remaining games in the tournament. I must acknowledge the fact that Japanese side was good even though I didn't envisage the gold margin. I didn't also. The article means that we will return to the trenches and strategize the next game. Okay, well you just have to do that. Now from the four corners, now talking about the super focus, they expected to leave the country tomorrow and because they played their last friendly uh, yeah, so to speak, it's going to be their last friendly against the, the Illyrica boys. That one ended 2 2. Uchechi Sunday, that's based in South Korea, she scored one from the sports kick. Rita Chikalu scored from the free kick. And the boys, of course, had to also score the game. So it ended 2 2. That's all they've had. They played some other games and all that. You see them retaining this championship? Well, we, with what we have in the, the cross of players in the national team, the Super Falcons. They, they have the tendency to retain the cup, but it's so disheartening that we've not been playing friendly matches. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest challenge, because if the under-20 had played friendly matches with some top European clubs, the country, they will have at least test their strength. We've been playing against boys, playing against local team here, and uh, that's just what we've got. And that's why we see the results we are getting. But we just hope, because well, whether we like it or not, there's, there's always a threat by, from Ghana and other top African countries, even the Cameroon, the host. But let's see, definitely the Falcons will do well. Okay, okay, hopefully they can do well. Tomorrow we'll definitely look at the committee that was set up by Nigerian Football Federation. We'll look at that, you know, tomorrow, definitely. But the papers, just take the papers before we wrap up, starting with the Sporting Zone, Royal Spies on Cameroon and Algeria, and Guardiola Tracks Mercy. That's what I got from Sporting yeah, Sun. I complete sports, um, yeah, the co very good news um, for Nigeria uh, because um, Kali Keme is expected to resume training in two weeks. Uh, you saw Daniel Akwe in that game against um, It wasn't too convincing. Yeah, Akwe he started uh, on a shaky note, but uh, into the game, he, he got back his, uh, uh, his uh, confidence. Uh, I will give him, I will rate him average, 5 over 10. Uh, uh, he just tried to keep his back line. He start yeah. shouting and talking about that. But uh, a the decent back backup, the, a decent backup. But, but we still need to he, he, we, with more matches. That is why the essence you're playing friendly matches. Yeah. With more matches, he gets his confidence and also gets to understand the rhythm of the team. But the good news is that Kali Kemme is going back. He's yeah. coming back soon. And two weeks time, let's play. Uh, but the greatest challenge for the Super Eagles is from now to next year when we'll be playing uh, August precisely to be playing those two uh, matches. Uh, a double header against Cameroon in Nigeria and also going to Cameroon to play. It's a long time. So the players need to play regular football. They need to keep their, 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 their pace and their confidence. Uh, injury is setting, whether we like it or not. Uh, some player will lose form, so might not be playing regularly. So the coach <laughs> just needs to just keep tab on all the players to make sure that we get the cross of our players uh, for, for the qualifiers. One more on complete sports. Uh, Toby Balogun thrilled by terrible comparison. I mean, do you see any um, you know, likeness between, I mean, Fiber West was rugged and intelligent as well, too. But Leon Balogu, solid player as well. It's a good one. Taribo came out to say Leon Balogu reminds him of when he was playing. We saw the tenacity of the young man. Every ball in the air was just attacking those balls. Mm -hmm. was clearing everything. And his understanding with Trust Ekong was a perfect combination. And we think we should, we should just uh, uh, capitalize on build this on and that. build on that. Yes. But the, the, the only challenge is Leon Balogu is prone to injury. We just pray that he, he, he keeps his form. Oh, okay, thank you, definitely. Toby. <laughs> well, Toby, thank you so much for coming on the program. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm Cecilia. I'm all great. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Tyre Salah.